In terms of the restoration of aquatic habitat, you've always got to be a little bit careful when you try and get Joe Average to help you out in your endeavours. As always, the general public is a vital component of that. St Leonard's Pier is tucked away in the southwestern side of Port Phillip Bay and is a very nice and picturesque location. As you walk along the pier, you see the park's Victoria Welcome sign, and as you walk a little bit further along the pier, what you'll see is a sign talking about the native and pest species in Port Phillip Bay, namely Coscanisterius muricata being the native, um, also Asterius amarensis being the introduced. Sure enough, if we look below the surface, we do find Coscanisterius present in reasonable numbers. Uh, thankfully, no Asterius while I was there. Here's a shot of the Northern Pacific sea star Asterius amarensis. And here's why I personally believe that the sign is a bit of a recipe for disaster. Here are several shots of Uniophora granifera, the zigzag sea star. This thing looks a hell of a lot closer to Asterius amarensis than what the 11 armed sea star Cosca Asterius actually looks. Now we don't want to have Joe Average have to try and get himself an honorary doctorate in marine biology before he's able to help us out with trying to keep the numbers of uh, Asterius under control. However, it's not a big ask to try and factor that into the sign, I believe, to try and have that uniophora included in that. We don't want to start removing those native sea stars in an effort to keep the exotic sea star under control. No matter how well-intentioned Joe Public, we've got to educate them properly. It's pertinent to remember that the actual occurrence of Asterius amarensis in Australia went undocumented for a long time. It's thought that we actually mistook the introduced species for the native species.